What a beautiful spring day we have to celebrate the opening of this beautiful building. First note, I would like to thank Anne and her family for uh, for honoring that we can honor Raymond here today. I always remember Raymond for his generosity and his kindness and honesty towards our community. And for the legacy that that man left behind. We have a big job to do. About a year ago, I came into the coffee room at Canals and Sand and Gravel. As I walked in, Raymond put his fist on the table and said, I have a project for you, Henry. I said, oh no, I have enough projects. Raymond said, no, not for Knellsons, it's for the community. He would raise all the money towards the new arena. You just have to get the arena started. Soon asked, after Raymond asked me, how big is the arena now? How many can it seat? I said about 150 to 200. He replied, not big enough. So when we, we made another 25 feet wider to seat a thousand. So is there any better way to honor a community builder than having a building that was his pet project named after him? I believe not and he inspired many of us. Maybe inspired is the wrong word to use. He had a list, him and Jake Froze had drafted up. This guy's paying this much, this guy's paying that much. That's how we were inspired to help on this project. We all love him, we miss him. We all miss Raymond, I think we all know that um, Raymond will be having the best seat in the house tonight. Next we'll have uh, our local MLA, Dan Williams, and he'll come up and start with, I'm from the government, I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the government, I probably can't help. My favorite part about this project is that I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with this. It was all community-based. I was talking to some of my colleagues in Calgary. They were very happy that they had a new Amazon investment. You guys know Amazon online. $4.2 billion. I thought to myself, that's a lot of money going to go to Jeff Bezos' yacht somewhere in Tahiti, maybe. N no one in Calgary is going to see that. Raymond and Ann, Knelson, I'd take Knelson Sand and Gradle any day of the week in my community over Amazon. Twice on Sunday. These are the communities that actually benefit from free enterprise, that care about charity, where families matter, where you won't see someone homeless because people will take them in, where you're going to see homes, all these homes here are a function of either the employment of companies like Ray and Ann's, or they quite literally built the home with foundation. Churches, arenas, this is our yacht. This is what we did with our money. We put it back into us and our communities. And so I called Raymond and and I said, so I hear all over town this is what Raymond wants and this is what Raymond wants, so I'm calling you to ask you, what, what do you want? And then I shared some of our vision of where we see this community project fitting in with the school division. Um, we might not have done things the right way, but we probably did them the Mennonite way and got her done. And, and as, a, as a community, we want to say thank you for allowing us name the arena after Raven. It's been hard to do life without Raymond. My kids have been a great support. I know a lot of you have grieved with me. And thank you for the tribute and the honor that you have given Raymond. He would have never asked for it. Raymond was a visionary. He loved to build community. We would go for a ride almost every night to see who is building and what other project needs to be happening. He was very generous, humble and private person. A man of few words. He would never draw attention to himself or want to be acknowledged for anything that he had done. But since the Lord called him home and he is no longer with us, now is the time to give him credit that is due him and to give him the acknowledgement that he is deserving of. God has blessed this community. Let us never forget to give him the praise. Thank you. Thanks, Anne.
it's officially opened. <laughs>